there. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. Never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. And you're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. Hello everyone, I'm Mal, this is the home of the Malcontents, and we return once again to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, and this time for Operation Leviathan to assault the alien fortress. That's right, we're going on the big mission. The big mission! So who's going on it specifically? Well, as you can see here, we've got Outrider, Mad Dog, Ed, Wee, Trainwreck, and Rodos. Yep, we're taking one of our PSYOPs that we spent forever training. <laughs> I know, I know, I wanted to take more than one, and I don't know why, but I had it stuck in my head, I guess from, from Long War II, that we could take more people on the final mission, but... Eh, you know, it is what it is, I've only got six spots, so this is who's going. So, I am deploying um, all of the heavy weapons, so as you can see here, we've got two uses of Shredstorm Cannon, we've got a Blaster Launcher, we've got all of our special weapons, I did go through and make sure that all the modifications for the weapons that we could change were all top tier, superior uh, level equipment. And what else did I do? I added some PCS modules. I, I gave Rotos, I think it was a speed PCS. Um, I gave Trainwreck a PCS module for perception to increase her aim, and everyone else was already set up. So without further ado, Hopefully for one last time, even though I'll probably break this up into several episodes. <laughs> Technically, it's one last time because it's one mission. Let's go smash more alien faces. No way of knowing if they detect our presence yet. All right, so here we are, people. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so let's see. We let's go scope some stuff out, shall we? I'm on the move. You know what? No reason to push it, right? Because we're not really in a hurry. So where is Elena? There she is. And if you're wondering why I didn't bring garlic, Lydia. um, he was gravely wounded. So technically, I could have brought him, and then we could have used. Um, you know, we could have, we could have healed him up, could have used a med pack, but I thought, you know, nah, I, I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to do that, have to use up, you know, one of our med pack uses. So that's why Elena got the call up for this one instead of him. 
if you were even wondering that. Position. Which you might have been, who knows? It's possible. Alright. Okay, up That's with Ed. Commander's Avatar. Train wreck. I'm gonna put you, darling, here. Yeah, that's fine. Already there. Should go on Overwatch anyway. I'm pretty sure we got you ever vigilant. Okay, push yeah, up. Go. And Wolfric, let's go ahead and push you up here, buddy. Roger that. I'm on it. Okay, here's something up to our left. Yep, here we go. Contact. Okay, good shot, Ed. Deflection. go mind control and let's see let's slide over here with I'm Ed what I'd like to do is kill the Andromeda and then have Ed just like fanfire it down so let's see Wolfric can get a shot on it for sure so let's go ahead and do that which strips the armor thank you sir and then, let's see. Rotos could just kill it. Yeah, soul fires just fine. What? Oh, come on now. Really? I thought we had the kill there. Well, um... I guess that's not really a problem. On the move. Slide over here with Christy. Of course, I have lightning hands over there, too. I just didn't really want to use it. If I didn't have to, you know? Let's see... We get a shot on that. Yeah, we can. Okay, so I'll move around. I will go. You can never escape my sight. You Oh, you don't have a flank there. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, I guess we'll have to go kill it then. That's fine. It's no big deal. They've got eyes on me. Well, guess we will use lightning hands after all. Yep. Good night. No longer a threat. Draw. And good night. Now that I'm Enemy thinking shot. about it, I don't know that it even mattered if we stripped that guy's armor off or not. I mean, I guess it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference one way or the other. All right, so let's see. We'll just, I guess, Overwatch I'll here. Keep an eye on it. We can use the uh, codex we picked up to scout for us a little bit. Actually, I'll just dash it forward and see if it gets into a fight. I'm fine with that. Let it get beat up, right?
Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Hi. Hello, Chrysalids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fine with it hitting it, too. Weapons disabled. Sucks to be you. All right, and then let's just set up kill zone. They're not getting through. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we could drop like dimensional rift on top of it because why not, right? Uh, let's see. Move. Maybe over here, pop the door, throw it in that way. That way we'll stay out of range if the chrysalids survive and don't get hit by uh, Ed's kill zone or something. Yeah, just sort of out of an abundance of caution, right? Yeah, that looks good. And if you're curious, just as a reminder, the the uh, mind deal, what's it called for him? The mind control is temporary. It's not permanent, right? So any any um, enemy assets that we pick up using the commander's mind control, might as well do damage to him as we go because they're not going to last, right? Unlike if we have Rotos grab someone with domination, it's for the rest of the mission, right? So that's a little different. Okay, let's see. Do we want to bother doing like Shredstorm or something? I don't think we even need that. No, I think what we'll do is we'll just Absolutely. move. We'll move here. Now, can we shred the armor somehow? That would be ideal. Wolfric, well, can you get in a good spot here, buddy? Like here, maybe? Mm, or is it going to be here, probably, right? Not sure if that pillar is going to block him or not. I missed that oh, no. mod that like showed the icons of like what it was. That was a nice mod. I'm running with none this time, so. Oh yeah, he's got it. All right, let's just do rupture then. Greater likelihood that we're actually going to hit, you know. You want some? Alien icons or something? I, I don't remember what it was called, but it was kind of neat because. It would, it would kind of show you an icon specific to that kind of creature, so you knew at a glance whether or not you had visibility or not. Let's see. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, we don't want any of that. Gatekeeper, there we go. 58%. Well, might as well take the shot. Three damage even on a miss, so... Enemy is still up. Okay. And then we really don't want her to fire. No, we want her on like Overwatch, so we'll just I'm all over it. have her push up. Outrider. Really don't want her to fire either. Well, I guess we could use Sting. And she, if she makes the shot, she gets the kill, but eh. I don't want to risk losing her uh, her stuff. Look at all the guys. We do Void Rift. I mean, I guess we could, <laughs> just for grins. I think we got this either way. You know what? We'll just set up Overwatch. We don't need to use I that. Watching comes Moving to Overwatch. And then tactical analysis on top of it, so they only got one move. Yeah, they're screwed. Gail mid. You know, I say get him, but what is the gatekeeper? Is it like asexual or is it like a guy or a girl? I mean, I really don't know. Technically a female or technically, a, you know, I don't know. Kill confirmed. No idea. Enemy eliminated. Get him. 
Nice. Enemies down. You guys almost done dying over there? Nope, not quite, I guess. Vamos, entrate. Really? Running away? All right. No, not the codex. Finish him off. Uh, one left and one ran. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that did it. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go see if we can get eyes on that one that was running away. Maybe we can stealth kill it or whatever. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh, I didn't mean to move the commander's avatar up. No, no, no. Where's Elena? Come here, Elena. I go where you tell me. Uh, over here, maybe? I am at your service. They're gonna give us eyes on. I have sight beyond vision. Yep, there it is. Ed, can you see that thing? No. All right, so reload. Oh, yeah. And can you get? I mean, I could jump you over here to get eyes on. The question is, is it worth it to use an Icarus jump for that? Probably not. No, 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 no. We don't need to do that. We can just do this. There we go. What did you expect? Perfect. Thank you, sir. And grab a reload. Back in. Confirmed. Hey, right there looks good. On the move. And Wolf Rick to there. No problem, boss. All right, feeling pretty good so far. Explorando. Got all quiet. Spooky. Spooky. Speaking of spooky, I don't know if anybody's watched it, but uh, it's called Dark on Netflix. Yeah, it's a German uh, Netflix project. I've been watching it. It's dubbed, or not dubbed, it's subtitled in English, at least on the US Netflix. And it's pretty good. I like it. It's drawing a lot of comparisons to Stranger Things, which I don't necessarily agree with, but watch like the first three episodes, and it is pretty interesting. I mention it because, well, one, because things Not get creepy problem. for a second, so it made me think of it, but two, I'd like to think that... Just as we saw surrounding the oh, hey, what's the going field, on here? The alien flora seems to flourish in close proximity to the psionic fields passing through these systems. I don't remember him ever saying that before. Anyway, I mention it because I figure, hey, we like the same stuff, which I think a lot of us do, that are part of this community. I thought I'd, I'd just recommend it. It's a good watch. Okay, let's move Rotos up. Commander's Avatar can go... You know what? Right there, out of sight for now. Ed, right there, buddy. On it. Wolfric... I don't really want you in the open, pal, but I do want you to move up here. How about here for now? Got it, moving. Got it covered. And On Christy. I'll watch closely. Come get some. So I'm trying to decide, uh, matter of fact, I put up a discussion thing, uh, and I'll, I'll do one in the community too, most likely, like in the community section on the channel, um, but I put it up in the, um, on the Patreon forums, 
I was asking the these supporters, like, you know, what do you what do you want to see next? You know, because this campaign hopefully is successfully going to come to a close here, but it's going to come to a close one way or the other. So a couple different ideas have been floated around. Um, it looks like the what's winning, what's technically winning the vote right now is um, XCOM first Long War. So EW Long War, do that as a campaign next. And then like modified with Dynamic War and some other things. But the other suggestion that came up was maybe do another run of Long War 2 or potentially a modified War of the Chosen one. But then on Thursdays, do something called Throwback Thursday where just once a week we have a um, a original Long War mission. And I thought, hey, that's a cool suggestion. And I wanted to take it a bit further and say, how do we want to do this? Hold on one second. We'll get back to that in a sec. Put a pin in that for a second. <laughs> Where are these guys at? Right there, huh? Um. Okay. Are you still I gonna be able to? That. Still gonna be able to shoot from there? You're not, right? We'll see. Anyway, so the thought process was: let's have a you know whatever we decide on for the main sort of main campaign or whatever. But then on Thursdays have this throwback Thursday, and have it be that um since they're gonna be a week apart. When there's important decisions, you guys could 92% and we miss. That's great. Um, that you guys could vote like on what we should do. Like if there's an important decision, like you know uh, somebody's promotion, or we're gonna uh, have the ability to maybe raid an early transport, but it's super risky or something like you know something something like that where there's an important decision to be made that you guys could. You know, sound off on what you wanted, what you know, what you think we should do. So it'd be, you know, only on Thursdays, and it'd be kind of like a community decision type campaign. Anyway, let me let me know. You can tell, you can say in the comments of this video, or you can wait till I put up something in the community posting or what have you. But I'm curious what you guys and gals think. As always. My sword is thirsty. Alright, so let's just Reaper this guy to death, and then we'll just shoot the other one. Yeah, that's fine. Good night, that's sweet dreams. Yeah, and then... Oh, really? Okay. Well, that doesn't usually happen, him missing both. Oh, all right then. All right. Things are getting a little more serious now. Little more serious. No hay problema, jefe. I mean, not really. That guy can't do much, but I just don't want to... don't want to risk the damage. And have to use a med kit or whatever. No Lansom. There we go. There goes half his health. He's angry. He's very angry. Not that we care, but letting us know. Battle frenzy. All right, Christy, move on, on up the there, darling. And do you have a guaranteed kill here? No, you you actually don't. Hmm. Well, I mean, you could sting, I guess. And maybe get lucky. Or we could just have Ed come over here and kill it. That's the other option, yeah? Confirmed. Yeah. See ya. On the flip side there, Archon. Target down. Such a badass. Alright, let's keep looking. Uh, yeah, up. Oh, sure. I will reposition. The time for hiding is over. Oh my. Very close. Guy hopefully coming. hopefully they don't move and we can uh, make judicious use of her uh, claymore. Yeah. 
I don't see why not. Mm hmm. Well, first check remote start. Any good targets for that? No. All right, Claymore. Like so. Deadly trap. Mm hmm. And then let's see. How do we want to do this? Move up here. We get two kill zone shots. I'm trying to think what's the best. Or we could go serial and have. Hmm. Does blowing a claymore count? For purposes of cereal? I don't imagine it does, and I've never tried it. Yeah, I'm not so sure that that's a great idea. Maybe we just wait a turn. Moving to designated position. Yeah, I'm thinking we wait a turn and just get into better positioning. Puedo hacerlo. Affirmative. Covering now. Like I said earlier, and I just got to keep reminding myself, we're not got under it. any kind of super time crunch or anything, so. Heading out. Let's grab a reload over here. It's killing time. Overwatch. Have her drop back. Moving as ordered. Check range on Void Rift. Not quite, but could blue move to like here? Would you be seen there? Yeah, the Archon would see you. Alright, fair enough. Want to do serial or do we want to do kill zone? I think we want to do kill zone actually. Let's do this. Yeah. We'll just set up like that. This area is mine. And ooh, ooh, -ho -ho. we could plasma bomb and they'd just be dead. But I don't want to really use my ordnance that soon. Yeah, there's a lot of mission left, so we should probably wait on that. All right, pop it. Bye. That's one. Taken care of. That's two. Hostiles pacified. I will always find. Oh, you would hit that guy too. So who else you hit? Got it. Nice. Three for three. Now, since he's panicked, did that expose her? No, it didn't. Nice! Okay, we kind of got lucky on that deal. Alright, so let's see. What do we got left? Is it just the one codex? An Archon? And then we got this panic one over here. I think that's it? Here, anyway, let's move Moving up. Moving to designated coordinates. Very nice. Okay, move Rodos up. Go for the Archon. Good shooting, buddy. Good shooting. Oh, 
Oh, it's mad again. It's Whatever mad. Go ahead and finish that off there, Wolfric. Thanks, buddy. You know that was good. Okay. Had the camera zip over there for. Uh you know what? Let's go ahead and Well, I guess we don't need to reconceal. We'll just continue using Elena. We'll save his concealment for later. On my way. Overwatch. Let's see, we get three turns here. All right, up. Closing on target position now. All right, let's grab another reload. I also like that mod, like right there, we had to use the free reload. I like that mod that changes it where you can use the free Seems reload doable. when you want to. That's a nice mod. Good to go. I haven't really been looking that closely at the mods um, available for War of the Chosen. Moving Only kind of like, I've taken like cursory glances at um, Locked and loaded. at the workshop. It looks it looks like most of the popular ones have been ported or completely redone for War of the Chosen since the base code is different than XCOM 2. Seems like it's coming along pretty well. And now, as far as Long War 2, or I guess what they're calling it is... The Long War of the Chosen, or something like that. There's a community-led effort that's been sort of blessed sure by... Thing. Uh, Pavonis, they're, they're helping. I guess they're gonna help those developers. Those modders build... A War of the Chosen version of Long War 2. Reapers are always vigilant. The biggest imp the biggest thing to me about 2K and Firaxis not wanting to do or not wanting to fund them to make Long War 2 version of War of the Chosen signals to me that they're done putting out any more content for it. Yeah, other than like whatever those challenges are, which I haven't even messed with. I go where I'm So if so that means if XCOM 2 is essentially end of life, right? Then they're already working on XCOM 3, so it'll be interesting to see when we start getting some information about that. It'll probably be next year sometime before we hear anything about it in earnest. Oh, hey, Snake Ladies. All right. I don't know why my voice did that. I'm, like, excited to fight Snake Ladies for some reason. <laughs> All right, let's move up. Rotos right that? there. Some kind of human enclosure? There were always reports of missing civilians years before the first invasion. Could this be them? Maybe they had planned to use this for some sort of psychological testing. Okay. Christy. Good spot to put you there. Uh, yeah, right there's fine. Got Thank it. you. Todo cubierto. Wolfric, you there, buddy? Got it covered. And we... About you post up, like... Maybe right there for now? Absolutely. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. Come to me, snake ladies. Come to me. It is the only way. Well, it's technically not the only way, but the only way I get to, like, get rid of them is if they come over here. Unless I get aggressive. Which I guess I can do. Any remote start applications? No, not real, not yet. We start to fight. Some of them might slither over there. Here, we. Why don't you do the honors then? Go up here. If there's another group, then we'll just have you pull back. On my way. Yeah, and there is because I just heard something mechanical. Yep. That's not too bad. He could probably Reaper all them to death. 
Okay, Andromedon and some Codice. No place for you to go now. One quick slice. Can't get the one in the very back? Too far away? I mean, I could use your rage deal, but I don't really want to do that, so... We'll just kill that one. And what are we picking up here? Mmm, a, mu a muton, I guess, because something right. got something got panicked. Yeah, muton got panicked. And what do we got? Oh, robo chicken. And what else? Some andromedons. Okay, well that, that's fine. No problem. Really? You couldn't hit that thing? It's like, what? How? What is that? Like two meters? Three meters? You couldn't hit the thing? Come on now. Let's, let's be reasonable. Just silly. It's just silly that you couldn't hit it. Okay, go ahead and kill that one. Oh, I guess I should have killed this one. I don't know that it's going to matter too much here. Let's see. Do we go... Hmm. If we kill this one, we're not going to be able to get back over here. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hold on. We could kill... We could kill this one, and then... Hmm. We'd probably be better off killing, like, this one. Like, have someone else damage this group over here. Kill this one, and then take a shot to kill something else. That's probably the best bet. So let's see how we can do that. We can launch a plasma grenade. Wolfric will have to move. He could move here. He'd be out of line of sight. We could lob it kind of to the right. And I don't know if we'll be able to get the damage we're no looking problem, for or not. Boss. Well, and they're going to teleport. That's the other problem, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could plasma we could acid bomb this too. I'm not really pleased with my options here. All right, let's do this. Let's rage strike. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. And then we can slice this one and then go back here and kill this one. Yeah, that works. Mm-hmm. And we can still take a shot. Hold on. Yeah, we should still be able to take a shot, too. What did you expect? No? No shot, huh? Well, we could do Shredstorm. If we want to. Back up that way. Or this way. Since we know we're going to need to strip armor anyway. Question is, is that worth it? Not entirely sold that it is. Alright, let's hold off a second, because I might just blow this. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and blow that open. Hi! Can you reach that? No. Can reach him, though. Alright, let's get some more damage on him, then. How 
we want to do this. No problem, jefe. Move up here with Rotos. Oh, darn it. We need something that's... I need Null Lance. That's what I need. Darn it. They're both on cooldown. I should have waited another turn. I knew it. I knew it. Because what I need is a little bit of damage on this guy to continue that Reaper chain. You should have eyes on from here. You can't see it, so you can't get there. Is that the problem? Okay. What if we do something a little more straightforward and go, say, here? That should work, right? Let's find out, shall we? Nope, just this one. Dang it, that does not help me a whole lot. Well, actually, hold on. Lightning hands that thing. It's down. Yep, yep. And then we'll just move to say here. How did I now? Here we go, not a problem. And we could do cereal here if we wanted to, and take them both, but yeah, we're not gonna have to. We're not gonna have to. Hold on, let me think about this real quick, because if I go up here and kill this one... I need this to die and turn into the suit right now. How do we make that happen? Here? Oh, we got options from here. Okay. Nice. It's nice, just the suit. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we got a free action. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Okay, so let's do this. Get rid of that codex. That's how it's done. Yep. And then. is going to be a little sketchy, actually. Take that shot. Hmm. What do you have from here? Nothing? Nothing from here either? You still got to move. Yeah, hey, 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 hold on. What do you got from here? Move over. My life is in your hands. You cannot run. Oops. Go back to Ed. We could do Fanfire again. But we have that Robo Chicken back there we're going to have to deal with. Alright, fire the sniper.
And not enough to finish with Reaper. We can use Sting here. Let's do that for a little bit more damage and keep her cloaked. Got some value out of Reaper All on that one. Alright, and move back. Heading out. Not bad, people. Not bad. Okay, and you're gonna probably have the best visibility probably from over I'm on here. Move. Actually, let's move up here. Scanning! Time for hiding is over. Yes, please use your one move to move forward. Thank you. Your cooperation is you appreciated. My sight. <laughs> oh, you're not panicked. You're the non-panicked muton. You know, as I reflect back on the campaign, I don't remember really even seeing that many mutons. It doesn't seem like they were as prominent in War of the Chosen. Yeah, I doesn't. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. No, Mel, no. It's like, yeah, because it's getting, it's getting pretty long, and it takes a long time to render these since I'm doing it in 1440 by 60 frames per second. It takes, like, hours to render. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, and we'll obviously continue in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it so far, and if you have, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal. I'll see you later.